What is up, YouTube? Uh, X Snyder, Riley B Ways, or Chris Wisdom, however you know me as. My name is changing to X Snyder, as that's been uh, kind of official across all content lately. I am here with a tutorial for the updated 112.2 on reactors. Um, I know past versions, maybe 110.2, possibly more 1710. You've known it as either big reactors somewhere around there. Um, the 112.2 version is extreme reactors, as you see here. Um, so we're actually going to go ahead and kind of go through this tutorial and get processed. As you, some of you uh, mostly already know, it's the same. There's nothing different. Uh, the blocks are the same. Everything is pretty much the same. Um, actually, I'm going to shorten this down to just the Extreme Reactors mod. Take a look at everything. Um, of course, we have the turbines, but we're not going through the turbines today. Just the the reactors, and um, kind of go through some stuff. I know there's um, like the turbine redstone flux power tap, reactor redstone port, all these kind of things. Like I don't mess with these really. Uh, this one's kind of a way to toggle the reactor on and off, change the control rods, all that from this block. Uh, all these things are uh, very similar. Um, of course, we're also one other thing we're going to need um, is the where'd it go? I had it right here. Um, uh oh, sorry about that, guys. That's um, our world we're working on for a new series. Um, Turbine glass, we're not going to mess with, but we are going to need the control rods and, of course, the fuel rods. Ignore that, guys. Um, like I said, working on a new series for the updated Dire Wolf. But here you go. You pretty much have these blocks. Set this down, and then you have the reactor glass casing. Um, you don't really need to use that. If you're doing it in a uh, server world, having the liquid in this tends to actually bring down the server world quite a bit when you're playing on a server. So just keep that in mind if you're on a server. Try not to use the glass, as it will... Um, hurt the server a little more and put more load on it and therefore if you do it too much then you're going to overload the server that you're playing on and that's just respect for the server uh, and making sure that you can keep enjoying it and nothing breaks. Uh, I did find out something new uh, which is why I want to bring you this 112 version to go ahead and clarify this new thing that I learned. Uh, most everybody knows this already but for those who don't know about it, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I clear it up with you guys and make sure you guys know now. Uh, as you see, I'm building a tiny reactor, nothing fancy, nothing major. Um, some games now, it's very difficult to make this for whatever reason. But we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to break the middle of this. Um, and then we're going to actually put uh, the fuel rod in the middle now. Um, this is the new thing I want to teach you. I used to, when I first started playing, I used to build this kind of setup. I'd build it like a square, a rec square, rectangle, checkerboard, you get what I mean. I'd build it up, I'd put these down, um, and then of course, you know, I would come in here, and what's the best fluid? Jelly cryothium. So I'd go ahead, give me some jelly cryothium, I'd put it in there, put it in there, you know, let it do its thing. Yeah, I know it's only a one block fill, so I'd fill it up just about there, make it nice and cold. And then uh, I would go ahead and I would do this. Of course, it's going to do that, ignore that, let it be. Uh, I would take the controller, I would place the controller. Of course, you have the access port, I'd place the access port. Um, and then the power tap, of course. Those are usually the typical things that I always use. Uh, I don't usually ever use the glass, although you can um, use the glass. It won't hurt. Uh, you can use the glass right here. You can use the glass right here. It doesn't matter. I don't think you can do this, though. No. Can't do the edges. Never can do the edges. Um, this, though, kind of does tend to hurt the server if you're doing an extreme amount. So stay moderate, my friends, and just enjoy a normal reactor that gives you power. Now that you have that set up, of course you, as always, are going to need either Eulorium, which is right here, you can do, we're going to do just a couple, you can do Eulorium, uh, you can do another one, if I can remember the name, definitely Plutonium, I haven't tried Ludicrite 
or ludicrit, however you want to say it. Um, you can also do, um, I can't remember what it was, uranium, I think. Yes, uranium. So if I'm correct, if you go into here, turn it on, you can put uranium. You cannot put uh, the ludicrite. You can definitely put plutonium and uranium. So we're going to ignore this for now and throw that in there. Um, it's not full yet, so let's go ahead and fill it up so I can show you what I'm trying to show you guys of my old builds that I used to do all the time. I'd put this in there, checkerboard it, and you see this is how high it is, even with the jelly cryothium. And it's, you know, it generates power, but you know, you see how high this is. It's very high for both of them. It's not always good to have it bolt on that high. Uh, as you see right here, it says the fuel burn up rate, the rate of which the fuel is uh, fusioned into waste in the core, which means it would become waste. Um, right now it says about 0.11 millibuckets per tick. Um, and of course, this is the generating power. This is the, just how hot it is. Temperature inside the reactor core. Higher temperatures increase the burning of fuel. Of course, that's not what you want. So, the next thing I want to show you is the next build. Of course, I'm going to keep it the same. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to build this one. And then build this up as well. Bring it up one more. There we go. And then the new way I found out is this way. Put it here. You can put your liquid all around in the edges. I'm in creative, so I'm just going to start dumping it. And that's full. Now we can put this on top. Go down here. Place a controller. Place a power tap. Place this. Nope. This. Get that out of here. Um, and there you go. Now, jelly cryothium you don't need to use. You can use other things in the mod that are given to you, of course. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and start it. We're going to go and uh, we can do this. It works the same way. It registers. Turn it on. As you see, we only have one in the middle. Come in here. It's not going to produce as much uh, per tick, but it's also not going to burn up as much. Um, of course, with this small amount, it's not quite the uh, same, but at the same time, it's pretty good. I mean, look, you see it's a 1,000 RF per tick. That's really good in the case that um, you get this, this, this mini version built. Now... Of course, let's go a little different so that we can kind of show you uh, why I do that newer build of putting it in the middle instead of um, on the, the checkerboard way. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the, the version that I've, I go for all the time. And it's a 3x3 three three in the middle. And then on the sides, it's a two-two. It's a two space, so you want to make sure it's three out. One, two, three. After the three by three middle, that way you have this uh, double space right here. So go ahead and build this up. I'm not gonna go. Ahead, I'm not gonna cut any of this out. I want to make sure we get it all in here, uh, just in case I reiterate anything. So now that we have that kind of going, um, you can go ahead and. Do this if you want. Make sure it's filled up. Um, I'm actually going to make my life just a tad bit easier and uh, get a builder's one. So let's go ahead and do this. One more up. And then we're going to build this one more up and um, bring this up as well. Not too high. That sounds good right there. And then, of course, now we can go ahead and fill this up with the uh, gelid cryothium. And, of course, as you know, gelid cryothium goes down 
one block. It takes one block. It doesn't act like water. Um, I know in 1.7.10 it could have been a bug, but it did act like water at first. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that it doesn't act like water, or if it does, because every version's different. That's just a side note. So now that we got that in there, nice and cold, we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to go fill this up. So, let's fill this up, fill this up, fill this, and this, and this up, and this up, and there you go, you have that. You can come down here on this side, just for looks, we can place the controller, we can place the power tap, the fuel input, there you go. And if you really want to get tasty with it, you can go ahead and um, not do that. But you can do this, you know, if that's, if that's what you like to look at, go ahead, you know. But I don't recommend it. So, of course, you see it breaks the grass like crazy. You can go in here um, and you can put your uranium back into there to give it some power. I clicked the wrong button. Pardon me. Go in here and start it up. Now, you see, I did a middle 3x3, three three, but it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's like about a 9x9. Nine nine. It was a 3x3 three three in the middle. And, of course, my liquid of choosing all around uh, the inside in a two space. By doing this, you are creating these are radiating, in a sense, next to each other. Um, and they're being cooled by the outer edges. And in the case of scientific things, if you put ice here, you put something warm here, and ice on the other side, it's still going to cool the middle. So... You look in here, you can see how we've regulated the heat for the casing and the core, which is good. You see that if you come over here, you see how we're already at 0.11 and 4. Now, of course, the size matters of you know how many rods we have, but you can see that we're burning less and producing more. So let's let let's, let me show you again. You have 0 0.096 and 0 0.11. That says 106, but you see how it's burning more, producing under half. That's nine, and that's four, and it's burning more, and this is burning less. So you can see how it's. This is bigger. This has more fuel rods. It's burning less than the smaller one, but it's producing. Just above, just a little bit above twice as as much. Um, the heating is at under a thousand. Um, how heavily irradiates the core is higher levels of radiation, reduced fuel burnup. So you see that's higher percentage, that's lower heat. I go over here, that's higher heat, lower. So you can see why building this one would actually be very well. Now if you want to, you can even go bigger. You can go taller. You can go wider, in which you have a bigger middle. You could take the middle and you do a 4x4 four four or 5x5 five five and make sure you have a two space all around. But in the sense, what you're doing is you, not only are you saving, you're saving on the burn up of your fuel, but you're also getting power out of it still. That's quite well. As you see, that's that filled up actually quite quick. Um, there's not much else I really want to go over. I know that there are other parts of the mod that have been used. I don't touch it, and that was referring to this legacy over here, where you could uh, input the toggle reactor off, change the control, rod insertion, eject the waste, fuel temperature, output casing temperature, fuel mix, fuel amount, waste amount, and energy amount. You can do that, of course. You can put it in here, and that basically allows you to, instead of going in here and deactivating it, you can just go and put this here and play with the controls. Um, that's really all I have to show you. I really wanted to make sure I get the 112.2 version out for the tutorial. Nothing has changed except for just a rule of thumb of what I have found to be better uh, from watching uh, some other people and learning from other people. So yeah guys, I, I do hope this helps. I hope you get a better idea of understanding maybe a better build to go for. Uh, of course, this isn't you know the best. Uh, you can compare these two. You know this one's what, 0.11, this one's also 0.7, this one's 1.34, and this one's 4. 
0.8. So yeah, look, you get more power, I get it. You get less power, but at the same time, you're not burning as much. You see how low that is, and you see how high that is. So, and if you look into here, you can see the waste hasn't quite built up yet, has it? It's showing it has. You see right here, the blue. That's the build up. Look in here. It's actually pulling it out. So that one's actually created waste already, and this hasn't. That's good. Um, that's actually really good. I would definitely go for something like this. Even though it's less power, you're not wasting as much. And, you know, of course, I repeated that a couple times, and that was the point of this whole thing. So I do hope this uh, helps you guys and the 112.2 version understand that it's now Extreme Reactors. This is a very basic, minimal. Uh, knowledge that I'm sharing with you to give you better gameplay if you are in a crunch for resources definitely go for that middle middle one to save you on the fuel that way you can keep making power at not a loss um, I know this one's not bad it doesn't hurt you can build it however you want it but remember the different ways you build it either consume more or it's going to not consume more in this case I went for not consuming as much for still making a decent amount of power Alrighty guys, this is X Niter. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications whenever I post new videos. Uh, this is from right now. It is July 1st. I will be publishing this video in a couple of days from now. Possibly today. We'll see. Do keep a track on the other videos I have posted. They are scheduled to be posted all this week. And until next time, I will see you around. Alright, later guys.